Hello gentlemen, uh, I think this is the new intro, so let's go over today some bayonet tactics and just melee in general because I had a comment right here asking me how to win melee battles because he always seems to lose. So without further ado, uh, let's get into a battle and start demonstrating. So in a nutshell, when it comes to surviving bayonet charges or initiating bayonet charges in Napoleon, it's all about what kind of units you are using. If you're going to be using light infantry or militia, they will always lose. So never use those. You want to focus on line infantry. Now some line, now some line infantry are good at charging, others are good at melee, some just suck outright. So it's just it just comes down to what units are you using and what units are being engaged in combat. That being said, we'll go over Grenadiers and some line infantry units and show you guys some cool tactics on how to survive bayonet charges and some good scenarios where you can initiate. Okay, so basically what we're going to compare is we're going to compare Bashik Bazooks, which are fairly good at melee combat considering that they only have swords, against Hungarian Grenadiers. Now if you're always losing um, in melee combat, just get a better defensive unit. Hungarian Grenadiers are really good, solid at defense with a good defense of 12. Most units that attack have an attack of anywhere ranging from 7 to 12, in gen generally speaking. So, let's see how the Bashik Bazooks uh, stand against the Hungarian Grenadiers, who won't be firing at them. The Hungarians are probably going to win. It is worthy to note that the Hungarian Grenadiers will lose a lot of people off the charge because uh, in this scenario the Bashik Bazooks will be getting a charge bonus. But this goes to show that in order to survive um, melee combat, it's good to bring Grenadiers. And keep in yeah, mind that I did not have toggle of fire, toggle of fire, um, enabled, so they're not going to be shooting, but just know that before a charge, they'd definitely be shooting at them. And there you go, there you have it. Quite a few casualties, but it'd be a lot less in reality. So basically, uh, not every unit you encounter will be weaker than the Grenadiers. The Smat Janissaries are a lot more formidable and powerful than the Bashi Bazooks. And these guys have an insane attack and a pretty good defense. Plus, they also have bonuses when it comes to fighting other troops in combat because your troops will be like, oh damn, these guys are good in melee and they lose morale. So, if you ever find yourself in a situation like this, this is where you need to use your army. So, Mateo will attack me. I'm going to toggle up fire and try and deal with them as much as possible. Alright, he's going to charge me. I'm going to actually charge him to mitigate the risk. And now this is probably the most important part. You can use infantry to shoot in their backs or you can use cavalry. Because now the problem is with the, um, with the Samat Janissaries is that they're trapped and they can't form square and this goes for any other musketeer unit now just be careful that you don't charge into the back of your own troops so you see the hungarian grenadiers they're losing guys we're 50 out of 90 they need help so we go into their backs like this and although we get some of our own troops it really cleans up fast uh against the smat janissaries which are generally way stronger than the hungarian grenadiers so next we have Landwehr. Landwehr is a militia unit and they will always poop their pants when there's the enemy in front of them. Um, never use this guy against melee combat. If you ever use this guy in melee, 
think they will lose. They are essentially a meat shield. So even if you get the charge on them, it's not it never turns out well. So I completely look at this. So yeah, you think they're gonna do well and then it's just a big uh, boo boo after. You have a uh, six defense. The oh, the M Musketeers Mateo. have a six defense. Don't worry, because the land bear have a four attack. <laughs> so another big no no is light infantry. If you're using light infantry, um, they can't do melee. They're not trained for melee. They're snipers. So even if we have Palestinian auxiliaries, which are <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Which are a militia, they won't do well against them either. And you can see that. It's also worthy to note that Grenzers and other light infantry, especially skirmishers, they have smaller troop counts, so they don't have the manpower to really stand up to these guys. Nein, 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 nein. 